Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys a ROM from newcomer uh, D Vortex. He is a developer for the Droid X, and he's created um, his version of what he thinks that a ROM should look like, and he's calling it Vortex. It is still in its alpha stage, but I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I think it's pretty nice. Uh, it's pretty snappy. Um, this is the first ROM that he's ever released for the Droid X, uh, so keep that in mind when you run it. Uh, for me, I've had excellent battery life, and like I said, the performance has been great. Uh, but what I want to do is show you guys how to install it, and then we'll do a quick review. So let's go ahead and get into the installation. Um, first of all, you're going to want to make sure that you are on uh, Gingerbread 2.3.3 version 4.5.602. Uh, you can get there several different ways. Uh, either you can accept the over-the-air update and then root via the one-click root method or you can install the pre-rooted 602 ROM. I have videos on how to do either of those two but once you're on 602 and you're rooted you'll need to get Droid 2 Bootstrapper and open up Droid 2 Bootstrap hit Bootstrap Recovery click OK and Reboot Recovery And as soon as it boots up, I'll show you guys what to do. Uh, if you're familiar with installing ROMs on the Droid X, uh, then you can actually just skip to my quick review. Uh, so the first thing you'll want to do is go down here to where it says Wipe Data, Factory Reset, and select that. Um, we're scrolling through up and down, Volume, selecting with the camera button and going back with the back button. Uh, so you'll go ahead and select Wipe Data factory reset and go down to delete all user data and select that. I've already got it installed so I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to go back. Then you go to wipe cache partition, select that. Go down to yes, wipe cache, select that. When that's finished, you'll go back, go down to advanced and wipe Dalvik. You'll select that and once that's finished you will go to install zip from SD card, select that, and then choose zip from SD card. Um, if you install it directly to your phone, it will be in the download folder of your SD card. So navigate to your download folder and open that up. And you're looking for Vortex GB version 1.4.1.zip. Go ahead and select that and go down to yes, install Vortex. Um, go ahead and select that and then it will begin the process. It took about five minutes uh, for it to install. It, it really doesn't take that long to install. Once it's finished, it'll let you know that uh, the install has completed. And then you'll just hit the back button until you get to this menu and click Reboot System Now. Uh, this ROM does come with a custom boot animation that was made by uh, D Vortex. So I'll show you guys that real quick. And then we'll get into our quick review. Now obviously on the first boot it's going to take several minutes up to uh, 5 to 10 minutes to boot up. That is normal so do not worry. And it's pretty neat. Pretty neat little boot animation here. Got to give mad props to D Vortex being that this is his first ROM. It looks really sharp. Like I said it's very snappy. It performs well. And uh, he's included some features in here that I'm going to show you guys that make this ROM worth having. Alright, so you've got this custom lock screen here. And he has themed the apps. Uh, once it loads up, I'll show you guys. I see like your dialer app is themed, browser app is themed. Uh, several of these apps are themed here. While we're in the app drawer, I want to show you guys uh, something here. He's got two gallery apps in here. One is for the AOSP gallery uh, because he personally liked both of them uh, and he also has the blur gallery the reason the blur gallery is there is so that you can have HDMI output a lot of people have been asking about uh, FM radio that application and like Apex ROM and and uh, Liberty and things like that so he already has that one included there that was part of the blur um, and then let's see what else was included okay like the blur camera is there as well 
Uh, other than that, all of the bloatware has been removed. All elements of Motorola Blur had been removed, except for those few little things there, uh, which actually make this ROM very appealing to have those in place. You will see that it's it's fully themed here. Um, up in the notification bar, you can tell that he's put in some custom customized things there. Um, it's running Launcher Pro, which is very snappy. That was developed by Big Shay, uh, the developer of Apex. And you have some settings that can be changed in Launcher 2, uh, such as like the number of buttons there, either 2 or 4. At the home screen, you can change the icon style and the background. And like I said, it's very quick and snappy here. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys the battery life on this thing. It's been pretty superb. Um, we got a day and a half out of the battery uh, yesterday. And I'll go into settings and applications and battery use. And so far we've been on it for 6 hours and 12 minutes. And we're at 70% on the battery. So that's not really not really bad at all. Uh, this thing has some custom scripts that can be ran in Terminal Emulator. I uh, Go to the link in the description uh, for those particular scripts that can be ran. Uh, they are tweaking scripts that can be ran there. Um, this does include the I'm, I'm Mimazine. I can't pronounce the developer's name very well. But anyways, it includes his scripts on startup. You can disable those if you want to, but for me, they've helped a lot. Um, but other than that, it's like I said, it's very snappy. It's thin. And all these 602... Um, Motorola source built ROMs the main thing about them is they have excellent battery life uh, so you might want to check that out just head over to the link in the description to grab that ROM and test it out try it out it's always good to support new developers so that they'll keep coming back and developing obviously the more he does it the better he'll get and the more things that we'll see out of DVortex uh, so make sure to check out the link in the description uh, grab that ROM. Also head over to DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid X. We're now covering the Droid Bionic. Check out DroidModerX.com slash Bionic. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. And also subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated world.